This video is created by Jagrat Creation. It is on departmental accounts. I wish to solve one sum here before you on departmental accounts. Just observe the sum on the screen. A firm has two department X and Y. From the following figures, prepare departmental trading and profit and loss account for the year ended on 31st of December 2017. Opening stock purchase sales and salaries of department X and Y are given to you duly bifurcated. These are the common expenses, general salary, carriage inward, carriage outward, advertising, rent and taxes, rent and rates, interest on bank loan, lighting, discount received in charge. Area occupied by two department is in the ratio of 2 is to 1. General salary has to be allocated equally. This is a policy matter. Insurance premium is for the comprehensive policy allocation inconvenient. So insurance expense cannot be allocated. So expenses are allocated to the department as a matter of policy. Expenses are allocated to a portion to the department on the basis of certain criteria. Or if we find that the expenses cannot be apportioned or allocated anyway, then those expenses are debited to a common profit and loss account prepared for all departments. And this is an important point that I wanted to emphasize in this sum. Closing stock of X and Y. Thirty thousand, forty thousand. Now, first of all, these are the common expenses. Let me prepare a working note for its bifurcation. General salary will be distributed equally. Carriage inward in the proportion of purchases. Advertisement in the proportion of sale. Carriage outward in the proportion of sale. So let me first find out the purchase ratio and the sales ratio. So this is the purchases of department X and Y. Its ratio is 3 is to 2. 50 to 100, 50, 3 is 150, 3 is to 2. Let me find out the sales ratio. So 25 is to 15. So it is 5 is to 3. So this is the sales ratio. Now let me start allocation of expenses. Basis of apportionment, ratio and department X and Y, I have added this column to it. General salaries are allocated equally. 1 is to 1 ratio, 10,000 each. Carriage inward, basis of apportionment purchases. Purchase proportion is 3 is to 2. 20,000 distributed in the ratio of 3 is to 2, 12,000, 8,000. Carriage outward sales ratio, 5 is to 3. In 5 is to 3, you are required to distribute 16,000, so 10,000, 6,000. Advertisement, 12,000 distributed in the sales ratio. Because advertisement expenditure is incurred for the purpose of promotion of sales. So effect of advertisement is on sales. So that expenses need to be distributed in the proportion of sale. So 12,000 distributed in the ratio of 5 is to 3. So 7,500 and 4,500 rates and taxes in the proportion of area occupied. So 18,000 distributed in the ratio of 2 is to 1. 12,000, 6,000 interest on bank loan difficult to allocate. So it is debited to general profit and loss account is not bifurcated, is not apportioned. Lighting, you light the area. So lighting is distributed in the proportion of area occupied. 2 is to 1, 1600 and 800. Discount received in the purchase proportion because we receive discount. When we go for payment to the suppliers, suppliers are the persons from whom the goods have been purchased on credit. So discount received is distributed in the proportion of purchases. 3 is to 2. 1800 and 1200 insurance inconvenient to allocate. So general profit and loss account. So after explaining the mode in which the expenses are apportioned, now I want to prepare trading and profit and loss account. 
So this is how I have already done. So let me start writing salary, debit side of profit and loss account of X and Y, carriage inward, trading account debit, carriage outward profit and loss account debit, advertisement profit and loss account debit 7500 and 4500. Rent and rates debited to profit and loss account. Interest on bank loan, general profit and loss account. So it will be debited to the debit side of general profit and loss account. Here I have prepared general profit and loss account. Lighting distributed in the area, ratio of area, debited to profit and loss account. Discount received income, credited to profit and loss account. Insurance, unallocable, debited to general profit and loss account. So all the expenses that for which I have prepared a working note is being incorporated in my trading and profit and loss account at an appropriate place. Now this is the information opening stock. Trading account debit. Purchases trading account debit. Sales trading account credit. Salaries. Profit and loss account debit. So this is how already bifurcated information is recorded. Closing stock, X and Y, 36,000 and 40,000. Now find the gross profit, total of credit minus total of debit. So this gross profit is a balancing figure, 84,000 and 32,000 that is transferred to the profit and loss account. Now find the net profit or net loss. So total of credit minus total of debit, net profit. This net profit will go to the credit side of general profit and loss account. But in case of Y, there is a loss. 39,300 is a total of expenses, but 33,200 is the income. So loss, losses are debit. The profit is credited to general profit and loss account. Loss is debited to general profit and loss account. Now find out the net profit. So profit transfer to capital account. This is the balancing figure. This is how a simple sum. I have tried to explain to you the important point that I wanted to emphasize is the expenses which are unallocable or decided not to allocate, those expenses will be debited to general profit and loss account. Similarly, such incomes are also credited to general profit and loss account. I have tried to explain to you this sum. I feel that you have followed all these things. Thanks to all.